Hello everybody, CVM here with another Versus Video Deck Tech along with... The BBD. The BBD. There's a only one. ABBD. Oh, ABBD. Yeah. A-B... I'm missing a C. ABCBD. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be playing the Mono Green Agro slash Devotion deck that Mason Lange uh, top-aided the Open in Milwaukee with this weekend. Uh, so we don't have Nixos, um, but we do just have a bunch of three-power, two-mana creatures instead. So rather than trying to go big with our devotion, we're just going to try and beat the crap out of our opponent before they can do anything. Uh, so as we see here, we do have uh, Elvish Mystic to accelerate us and Experiment 1 to get Giant, uh, along with uh, BBD's old standby, Burning Tree Emissary. Uh, to best buds. Best buds. Uh, to make uh, you know, a broken turn 2. But similar to how the red deck started playing Gore House Chainwalker, we have our own little uh, three power creature for two mana with Brush Strider. So Brush Strider is just another aggressive creature that we can cast off of a Burning Tree Emissary uh, that allows us to further evolve our Experiment 1. So uh, with this type of build, uh, we have plays where we go Experiment 1 on 1 and then Burning Tree Brush Strider on 2, which allows us to attack with a three power Experiment 1 on turn 2, uh, where our opponent probably just has like a tap land in play because they scribe. Yeah, like, that doesn't sound like a very realistic <coughs> turn two, though. I think you missed like the other two burning trees. Yeah, the two burning trees. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, it's not going to evolve our experiment one anymore, so okay. we don't really need them. But I'll take them. Uh, and then further along, we have uh, Clonian Tusker, which is just another three power, two mana creature. Uh, Scavenging Ooze, which is just a very good creature right now, um, especially in a deck that just has like you know a hundred guys. Yeah, and they're just going to die. They're going to die and just eat them and make them bigger. <laughs> And then we have Reverend Hunter, which is the lone devotion mechanic card uh, in the deck uh, besides Nylia. Um, but because we have all of these cheap creatures and Burning Tramissary to fuel out some explosive turns, Reverend Hunter could be like a 6-6 six, six on turn 3, or you know, like a 4-4 four, or four, a 5-5 five, five on turn 2, which is still pretty powerful. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, on top of that, we do have uh, Boon Seder, which is just a very, very good card. Uh, Nylia, like I had mentioned earlier. And then we have some combat tricks with Mending Touch to regenerate a creature. Uh, this card saw quite a bit of play in the sideboard of the old Bant Hexproof decks uh, as ways to regenerate our creatures against like Bonfire and things like that. Uh, but here, you know, we're just going to be protecting anything, really. Like, because we're putting so much pressure on our opponents, you know, blanking one of the removal spells is usually going to be enough uh, unless they happen to, you know, just have a whole bunch of removal. Plus, it allows us to save our biggest creature in the face of, like, Supreme Verdict. So saving like a 5-5 Reverend Hunter would be just enough to win the game. Yes. Uh, Ranger's Guile, you know, very similar, uh, except it gives us plus one, plus one, and a way to blank removal spell. And then we have Slaughterhorn, which is a card that hasn't seen a whole lot of play. Uh, the red version, Rebel Belt Maka, has been seeing a little bit of play recently, uh, but Slaughterhorn is, you know, just a giant growth that they can't counter, uh, which is pretty good when we just have a million creatures. And it also is a nice play sometimes off of like a burning tree emissary to evolve your experiment one. Mm -hmm. um, it you know it's while you think of it as like a giant growth, sometimes it's actually just a creature too, and yeah. it's not that bad. Not the three two for three. Yeah, like it's <coughs> we have played worse creatures before. That yeah, is for sure. Definitely have. And then as we see over here, we have a uh, a grove of muta vaults surrounded by all the beautiful forests. We just got a bunch of basics and some man lands. Yeah, that. Uh, that mana base looks a lot like my favorite Lorwyn pump spell. Which is? Fistful of Force. Fistful of Force. That is what this mana base looks like. Yeah. So here's the main deck for our mono green aggro deck. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sideboard and see, you know, what kind of strategic options a deck <laughs> like this is going to have. Probably a lot, yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Here we have the sideboard for the mono green aggro deck. As we can see here, uh, the deck is full of dudes, and so is the sideboard. So we have Four Nalia's Disciple as a way to punish all the crazy people out there playing Boros Charm and War Leaders Helix in their deck right now. Uh, we have Four Miscutter Hydras as a way to you know, combat our control opponents. Uh, primarily, I think, with Sphinx's Revelation, be a Blue White Esper or Bant. Um, we have a third Scavenging News because the card is just really, really good. And a Bramble Crush as a way to kill troublesome permanents. So uh, cards like Detention Sphere, Jace, Elspeth, uh, those are all very good cards. Basic uh, Land Swamp. With Underworld Connections on Basically it? Basically, and Swamp with Underworld Connections on it. That is also another good one. And then we have three Dryad Militants. So um, I didn't get a chance to talk with Mason before I decided I wanted to play this in the video, but my belief is that he has Dryad Militant in the sideboard just as another aggressive one-mana creature uh, to come in the matchup similar to where the red decks would have, like, uh, 
fire drinker Seder, just to try and go under the sweepers and go under the removal that the, that your opponents are going to have. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And I feel like, along with Mending Touch, um, your game plan against Control decks, like, you probably want to just, like, be as aggressive as you possibly can, you know, have them Supreme Verdict you, save one guy, keep hitting him with that guy, and then hopefully, like, Miss Cutter Hydra finishes the job. Yeah. Or something like that. And I think having access to more one-drops can, like, help you get in those extra four to six points of damage that can put you in a position where, like, a Miss Cutter can actually win you the game. Yep. And then you have, like, like we said, Mending Touch to go along with the other two in the main deck to regenerate all of the creatures. So uh, this is the sideboard. I'm really excited to play the deck. Uh, it feels like it can have some very explosive draws. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be very good going long, uh, since we don't have the reach that most of the burn decks have. Uh, but we do have a lot more powerful creatures, and uh, hopefully Brush Strider is worth its weight in gold. So I don't, I don't know if he is. <laughs> well, we're going to find out. Yeah.